and hello YouTube, this is JS Man. I'm smart and I'm here to another brand new video for tutorials with JS. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at OBS. And as I said a few days ago, when I made the live stream video on how to live stream on OBS, I would try to make a video on how to reduce the lag, how to reduce any high CPU usage, how to reduce any buffering times, and all that if you're having any issues on OBS here. Now, I have created a video on how to live stream, and I have created a video on how to use OBS if you want to record uh, just videos and save them on your computer. Uh, these techniques will also help you if you're lagging or have low FPS while streaming or while just recording. Uh, these settings can help you. So if you want to check those two videos out, links are in the description as well as on the screen, and there should be cards on screen right now as well. So first of all, the easiest way to lower your lag, if, this is this is this is especially so if you're lagging or um, if you are if your stream is very laggy as well, and that will have to deal with the I think it's the yeah the first one right here encoding. Now, if you are recording, you can lower your bit rate, you know, every thousand or so and uh, just see how it comes out because for record for recording you can have a higher bit rate but if you're streaming um like i said in my stream video 3500 is probably the maximum you want to go and 2500 is probably uh the lowest you want to go if you want to remain to have a 720p quality you can go to 2000 and you'll still have a pretty good looking uh, stream it's just going to be right underneath 720p but it still looks really good so what you can do is lower your bit rate. Uh, if you have to go if you have to go below 2,000 bit rate, um, I would I, I would try going to 1,500. But quite frankly, I would not go below 1,500 because 1,500 bit rate will probably put you around the 480p, uh, probably, and that's about as low as I would even consider streaming. If you're if you're still lagging, if the stream is still you know buffering and it's laggy for the viewers then it's probably because you don't have uh fast enough upload speed and that's just something you have to fix by either get buying better internet or changing internet providers so that's not really anything you can fix very easily but lowering your bit rate is always a good idea some people love to sit there with that 4000 bit rate and quite honestly i already told you 4000 bit rate isn't going to help you so lower your bit rate I'm telling you, you can lower it to 2,500. It will still look great. And the other thing is, is that what you need to understand is that if you can upload, say you have six megabits of upload speed, or say you have 10 mega, megabits of upload speed, 10 megabits uh, MB slash S, right? Say you have that MBPS, 10 MB. Now, you could put 5,000 MBPS, or you could put 5,000 bits uh, to upload. But that doesn't mean that everyone's going to be able to download that 5,000 like you're able to upload it. Some people don't have a fast internet. So if you put a really high bit rate, they're not going to be able to download that much as quickly. And it's going to buffer for them. That's why I'm, that's why I'm telling you, uh, your, your viewers may not have that high enough internet. So you want to keep that in mind and put something like 2,000, 2,500, 3,000, 3,500 maximum. So that's the first thing you can do. Now this quality here, this really won't make a difference. If you're lagging, if you're buffering, if uh, people need to buffer your stream, if you have low FPS, this quality here won't really make a difference. I mean, you could try a low, I mean, if you if you put it at nine, it's not gonna make a difference. The only way it's gonna make a difference if you put it like at two or three, but then you lose quality. So, I mean, just keep it at 10. That's one thing you can do. Now, the other thing you can do is uh, if you're going to streaming, and I guess I may as well show it here real quick. If you go into streaming, now I am recording with these settings, so uh, hopefully this doesn't change anything. What you can do, what you can do for one is if you're using Twitch here, um, you could try another service, like maybe try YouTube Gaming. But frankly, if YouTube Gaming is not going to be any better. Uh, maybe it will for you, though. For me, it didn't. Uh, Twitch has been the best experience for me. But you can try other services. And uh, what you can also do is you can try uh, different servers as well. Now, this is probably not going to help. Because if, you already, if you've already selected your closest server, then who's to say that selecting a further server is going to work? But ho however, it may work for some users because 
how this works is that you're basically uploading to a server. You're uploading, say you live in, uh, say you live, let's just say you live in Georgia, okay? And you are picking the server in Florida, right? I mean, it's very straightforward for you to upload your data. All you gotta do is just, it's a straight line down to Florida. But say somebody lives in like, I don't know, New York and you're in Georgia, it'll probably have to go through several servers or have to go through a server in say, um, I don't know, what, what's, what's the state that's near Georgia? It has to go through Tennessee, then it has to go through Massachusetts, then it has to go to New York, right? So sometimes picking a more central server for your audience is better because it'll have to do less turns. Uh, the way your network has to go through different servers, if it goes through too many, it'll take longer. So perhaps trying to pick a more central server will allow for a better viewer experience. But quite frankly, I've never really uh, tried this. I've always stuck with the, uh, I've always stuck with, you know, uh, my closest server. So, I mean, you could try it though. It, it, it can be helpful. Now, the other thing you can do is uh, downscaling your downscaling your uh, resolution. Now, if you're running at 1366 by 768, or if you're running uh, a 1280 by 720, then quite frankly, downscaling um, may not be that great of idea because you only want you you really only want to downscale to 720. You don't want to downscale any further than that. So if you are running 1920 by 1080, or if you're running anything higher than what I'm running right here, then you can then you can downscale to you know one of these. You can downscale, and that will that will make less pixels. Uh, re that will require less pixels to be uploaded, which can make it a bit faster. So downscaling can work, but if you if you're already sitting at a resolution like mine, or if you're sitting at a 720 resolution then perhaps it wouldn't be that great of an idea. And also, if you have like a weird resolution like I have right here, uh, downscaling kind of goes weird because as you see, the aspect ratio isn't a very standardish. So uh, that's why downscaling for some resolutions doesn't really, isn't very as effective as it is for more standard resolutions. So, I mean, you could try it. It can be helpful, but it's mainly towards the people who have a standard resolution or those who have a 1080p uh, monitor. Now, the other thing you can do is work in the advanced settings. Now, the only there's, there's a lot of stuff here, right? But don't let it don't let it uh, scare you. Don't even worry about the general section up here. Don't even worry about the audio section up here. Just worry about this small little square here. Now, what you want to make sure is that if you are lagging, the first thing you want to change is this encoding profile. Change it from main to high, and see if you're still using a lot of cpu if you see a message at the bottom left corner here saying oh you have high cpu usage or if you're getting low frames while you're playing low fps and you're lagging or if your stream is still buffering a lot the first thing i would do is change this from main to high if you are still lagging and you still have frame issues i would try adjusting this preset here now the slower you are encoding, the better your video quality. Most computers are probably not going to be able to run slow and slower. Uh, I think OBS has it set to faster by default. But you need to have a pretty good computer to encode as faster. So what I would suggest you do is slowly start making your way down. Now, there is a slight... I mean, I, I've played with a lot of settings. Uh, Bitrate definitely affects your quality, and if anything else affects your quality, it's this setting right here. Um, but not by much; it's it's like barely noticeable. But there is a there, there is a difference between like you know slower and then fast and then ultra fast. But if you're stuck at like one of these right here, it's really not going to make a difference whether you're on very fast or ultra fast or super fast and ultra fast. So if you feel like oh I have to go down to very fast now. It honestly isn't going to make a difference if you go to ultra fast because the, the the quality isn't that big of a difference and you're saving yourself uh some some frames so uh i i run an ultra fast i don't have that greater video card if you don't have that greater video card just run it ultra fast it, it'll it'll make life easier because you if you can't run it fast and if you can't run it faster then you may as well just run it ultra fast because it's not going to make a difference if you run it very fast or ultra i mean you may as well run as uh what, what is this called Ultra fast, yeah, because you're not going to be able to run it super fast or very fast anyway, because it's not going to make a big difference. So you can try that as well. And the last thing you can try is 
uh, typing in here CRF equals 20. Now what CRF means constant rate factor. Uh, this is a way of compressing your video. Usually if you have this unchecked, your CRF will be at zero, which means your video footage is going to be lossless. If you've ever, if you ever, if you've ever rendered a video for YouTube, uh, you know that a lossless video file, such as an AVI, such as an AVI file, lossless means very big. It means a very big file. Nothing is compressed, and usually those take longer to upload. Those are much higher quality, and uh, they're also very big files. So what you can do is type in CRF equals twenty and that will compress the file a bit more. It'll, it'll compress at a different frame rate. So every few, every few frames, it'll start compressing your video, which makes it a bit easier uh, to upload your footage or to record your footage. Um, so try that, and uh, sometimes this can work. For some people, it doesn't work. For some people, it does work. So try CRF equals 20, and your video will be a bit more compressed. You also save some uh, space and uh, perhaps it works for you. Uh, other than that, uh, CTR here doesn't really make a difference. Uh, I've read somewhere that people use CTR, but quite frankly, CTR doesn't make that big of a difference. It's mainly just used for uh, if you. It's mainly just it's it's a compatibility setting for like uh, editing. So uh, everything down here really isn't uh, worth mentioning because it won't really help your frames. Because if you're if you're this thing down here, if you're having trouble running at 30 FPS, you're probably not going to run at 60 or 120 FPS anyhow. So forget these settings down here. Other than that, though, uh, the only thing I can recommend you to do is perhaps close all the programs you're running, only have the game open and OBS open. Um, I mean, you know, try to... You, you can try to get a... Uh, what's it called? A... Um, a booster, like a game booster software that boosts your game maybe to lower your FPS. Um, but quite frankly, if you're having trouble even running at ultra fast and high, and if you're having trouble running at a bitrate of 2500 or 2000 even, then I think the problem is, is that you don't have a good enough internet connection and you don't have a good enough computer who doesn't have a high enough CPU and probably doesn't have a high enough uh, graphics card. Because uh, CPU is required for this. If you have a if you have a bad CPU or a slow CPU, it, it does it can't render this quick enough. It can't encode it quick enough. And if you have a two if you have a low graphics card, it probably can't even render your game properly either. And your internet speed is required to be good so you can upload quickly. So if you're still having problems setting these at the lowest settings, then uh, I suggest getting a new laptop or a new computer or better internet. And uh, yeah, that's kind of just that's the sucky part. Uh, when you don't have the resources, it's just it sucks. So I feel you though I feel you because I only have a 6 Mbps upload speed and I have a pretty crappy computer running at Intel HD 4000 So uh, for me, it's not anything great either when I'm streaming I'm streaming at 2500 and if some people complain about the lag I bring it down to 2000. I'm not going lower than that though uh, sometimes you just have to accept that people are gonna have like sometimes they don't have a good enough download speed and there's nothing you can do about that so don't feel bad if people are saying oh it's still it's still lagging even though you set it down to 2000 it's not gonna be your fault it's gonna be most likely their fault so don't even worry about it okay so that's pretty much it thank you for watching hopefully you found the video helpful if you have any questions or comments any feedback if you have a suggestion on how to reduce lag or FPS leave it down in the comment section we're all here to learn and I'm sure a lot of other people will find it helpful too so definitely leave a comment if you have something helpful uh, but if you have any questions or run into any problems or you're confused about anything if something didn't work for you leave a comment down below I'll definitely under answering any questions you have if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet go and subscribe plenty of other OBS tutorials on the channel well not plenty of it two or three other ones but plenty of other software tutorials about editing about designing lots of cool stuff you're here to learn about different software i do uh, have a lot of tutorials on that and if you enjoyed this video you like this video or any of my other videos you can always donate a dollar to my patreon page all you gotta do is click the card in the top right corner of the screen and it'll bring you to that page and anything as low as that is always very much appreciated and always very helpful i also have a tutorial channel and advice channel a gaming channel, a vlogging channel, and a music channel. If you want to check those out, links are in the description as well as on the end card. And with that, thank you very much for watching. And this is GSMASMART, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.